On a business retreat, 16 executives plan to go golfing. You need to divide the executives up into four foursomes or groups of four, where there's a first foursome, a second foursome, a third foursome, and a fourth foursome. How many ways can you do this? We can think of this as four events, where the first event is selecting the first foursome, the second event is selecting the second foursome, and so on. The product of the number of ways we can perform each of these events will give us the total number of ways of performing the task. And because we're forming groups of four and the order doesn't matter, we'll be using combinations. We begin by determining how many groups of four we can form for the first foursome. Because we're forming groups of four from 16 executives, the number of ways we can form groups of four for the first foursome is 16 choose four. And then we have times the number of ways we can select the second foursome. Well, now there's only 16 minus four or 12 executives. And therefore, the number of ways we can select the second foursome is 12 choose four. Once the first two foursomes have been selected, there are now only eight executives remaining. The number of ways to select the third foursome would be eight choose four. And then times the number of ways of selecting the last foursome with only four executives remaining, which would be just one way or four choose four ways. Four choose four is equal to one. And now we determine the product. 16 choose four equals 1,820. 12 choose four equals 495. Eight choose four equals 70. Four choose four equals one. 1,820 times 495 times 70 times one is equal to 63 million, 63,000. There are 63 million, 63,000 ways to divide the executives into foursomes, where there's a first foursome, a second foursome, a third foursome, and a fourth foursome. Next, after all of your hard work, you realize each foursome must include one of the four board members. The board members are among the 16 executives. So we're keeping track here. To begin, there are four board members and 12 regular executives. So now we'll go through the process again, but now each foursome must contain one board member and then three regular executives. And therefore, the number of ways of selecting the first foursome would be four choose one times 12 choose three. Again, the number of ways of selecting one executive from four times the number of ways of selecting three executives from 12. Four choose one is equal to four. But I'll go ahead and leave it as a combination. And then we have times, after selecting the first foursome, there are now three board members and nine executives. The number of ways of selecting the second foursome in which one must be a board member and three must be regular executives is three choose one times nine choose three. After selecting the second foursome, there are now two board members and six executives. The number of ways of selecting the third foursome is two choose one times six choose three, because one of the four must be a board member and three must be regular executives. After selecting the third foursome, there's now only one board member and three executives. The number of ways of selecting the last foursome is just one, or to be consistent, one choose one way to select the board member, and three choose three ways to select the regular executives. And now we need to find the product. Four choose one times 12 choose three equals 880. Three choose one times nine choose three equals 252. Two choose one times six choose three equals 40. And one choose one times three choose three equals one. 880 times 252 times 40 times one equals 8,870,400. There are 8,870,400 ways to form foursomes, which consist of one board member and three executives, and there's a first foursome, a second foursome, a third foursome, and a fourth foursome. I hope you found this helpful.